a true story. <laughs> it tells a true story of um, the thing that happened in Newfoundland in my mother's generation a lot, and that's uh, during uh, the aftermath of the Second World War. There was a lot of American servicemen in Newfoundland. There were sailors and there was pilots and there was army guys all over American bases in Newfoundland and Labrador. And uh, the gals who were around my mom's age, uh, you know, often took a shine in here to the tall, well-dressed Yankee fellas who, uh, who, uh, who looked so good, I suppose, and knew how to dance, apparently. And uh, so one of the things I always say is that a lot of them got to, their hearts beguiled by uh, American servicemen and ended up moving down here. And one of the things I always say is, you know, part of the things that make, part of the, the big reason that America is a great country is that there's a generation of Newfoundland women dotted all around. So this is a special request. We were poor, but I was satisfied, and I thought, you were too You were pure And I was terrified I wasn't good enough for you And when they sailed Into the harbor I could see it in your eyes I knew that you were dreaming of leaving me behind. Now America is beautiful, and I sure hope you're right. If I could see you across the water, I'd say America is beautiful tonight. See America is beautiful tonight. And when I met that Yankee sailor, he stood tall and he shook my hand. He took pleasure in the moment. Measure of a man. Then he turned and he saw you standing and he asked you how to dance. And when you met that Yankee sailor, I knew I didn't stand a chance. And you say, oh, man. See America is beautiful tonight. I'd say America is beautiful tonight. Oh, it's beautiful tonight. I know. We would And I thought that you were too And you would be your And I was terrified I wasn't good enough for you And now you say America is beautiful And I sure hope you're I'd 
Thank you so much.